this one? This one's mine. That's for Luke. It's not for you. What? What do you mean it's not for me? This one's mine. I want it. No, it's not. It's Luke's. I told you already. Oh, my gosh. Whatever. Well, I don't even want it. Well, this one's mine over here. I claim it. No, no. Absolutely not. This is mine. It's pink. Don't you see? Oh, my gosh. Well, I didn't even want this one. I'm going to do it right over here. This is my platform to build on. It's red. It's like Roxy. It's for Roxy, yo. He can build here if he wants. See? Roxy said I can build here, so I can build here. No, Roxy, he cannot. This is yours. What? Then where can I build if I can't build here, Lily? You can build in this tiny little blue square. It's so big for you. What? No, it's not. I can't build anything. You guys are going to destroy me. Too bad. Everybody start building. You guys are going down. What? Oh, my gosh. How am I supposed to build in this square? And Roxy already got started. He already has a wall. Psst, Ohms, come over here. Yeah, what's up, Roxy? You can build with me. Wait, are you serious right now? Yeah, just don't tell Lily. All right, all right, all right. Yes, thank you so much, Roxy. Let's do it. And what the heck is this? Your house looks like trash. Well, how can we make it better? Well, for one, we can make it way bigger. And I have a really good idea. Idea. Let's make it red and blue, both of our colors. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And whoa, it is ginormous, but let me make the other half out of light blue wool. And boom, whoa, Roxy, check it out. It looks awesome. But, um, where the entrance going to be? The entrance to the house is going to be right over here, and I'm going to make it a piston door. I don't Indoors. Me too. It's going to automatically appear and disappear with the power of redstone. So let's build it. So the first step is to grab some sticky pistons and make a wall of them like this on each side. Perfect. Then we have to place two sticky pistons facing inwards just like that. Now we have to use the blocks that are going to be on the wall. What color block should we use, Roxy? Use red wool and blue wool. That is a great choice. And how about I put blue Blue wool on your side and red wool on my side. Oh, yeah. It's going to look so good. Let's do it. So let's put some blue wool over here on the red and some red wool over here on the blue. Now we have to hook up the redstone, which is super easy. So let's put a line of blocks above all of the sticky pistons like that. Perfect. And now we have to set redstone all on top of all the sticky pistons with a repeater facing this way with one tick and one facing this way with with one tick. Now, let's see if it actually works. So, if we power this bad boy, oh my gosh, Roxy, check it out. It works perfectly. Whoa, this is great. I know, right? But we have to make it lead to the front of the house. So, let's put a redstone right over here and a lever and boom, it automatically opens and closes. But our house is completely empty on the inside. Oh, yeah, you're right. We have to add a floor. So, let's make the redstone side have a blue floor and the blue side have a red floor. Oh yeah, great idea. I know, right? And boom, your side has blue wool. And your side has red wool. Wow, awesome. Now let's decorate the inside. So let's grab some light blue chair blocks and let's make a ginormous chair all over here like that. Perfect. And let's make a red wall right in front of it so we can watch some TV. Whoa, that's a great idea. And you know how we're going to watch TV, right? Yeah, put it on. All right, all right. Let me grab the painting. And first, I need to set it up with some black wool like this. Perfect. We have a giant plasma screen TV. Now, if I put the painting... Uh, no, I don't like that show. Yeah, put a different one on. All right, boom. And whoa, I've never seen this show before. It's like a skeleton in a sandwich. Great job. You're in a sandwich. <laughs> I know, right? But wait, what if we made a secret room? That sounds crazy, and we can make it hmm, right over here in the corner. If you stand over here, we could fall a bunch of blocks down, and I know exactly how to make it a secret. We can grab a sticky piston and make it place right over here. Then we could add a secret lever all the way behind the couch, so when you flick this lever, it's gonna pull the piston back. So let's set a red block right over 
over here and then grab some redstone dust and make it lead all the way behind until we reach the lever down over here. Boom. So now when we activate the lever, it closes it up. And when we hit the lever, it opens it. Check this out, Roxy. Hidden room complete. Whoa, awesome. So no one's ever going to figure out that there's a secret room right here. And when we fall in, we need to make some room. So let's clear up this entire section with air. And boom, it's all cleared out. But it's all made of stone. What should we replace the blocks with? Um, you already know what I'm going to say. Red wool and blue wool. Let's do it. We could make it half and half again. So make this half red and I'll make this half blue. All right, I'm and boom, this room looks awesome. And since this is our secret room, how about we add our secret chest in it with our valuables? Yeah, let's put it down. We can put it down all the way in the corner over here. So let's grab a chest and put it right over here. Now grab your favorite item and put it inside. And I'm going to get a diamond boom. And I'm going to put a redstone block. Wow, awesome. But Roxy, isn't it really easy for someone to just steal it? We have to make a maze to get to here. Wait, that is a great idea. Once you land from up over here, you're gonna be down here. So let's set a wall going up and down. Make it out of red wool so it pops out more. Alright, boom. Yeah, that does pop out so much more. So once you land, you're gonna be right over here. We should make a challenge right over here. Yeah, that would be awesome. And I have a really good idea for a challenge. What's your idea. We could spawn in a mutant mob. Which one should we do? Mutant wither skeleton. A mutant wither skeleton. Roxy, are you sure these guys are insane? We have to defend our items no matter what. Yeah, you're totally right. Okay, let's do it. So we can make the mutant wither skeleton spawn in from right over here. So let's grab a dispenser and place it down. And we want it to automatically spawn in once someone dares step inside. So let's sit down some pressure plates in the front and we have to make it so you can't just parkour over it and i think three is enough and yep you can't just jump over it no matter what you have to hit it but how is it gonna activate the dispenser well that's super simple roxy all we have to do is mine down underneath the pressure plates and then set redstone under where all of them are just like that oh that makes sense. So no matter which pressure plate you hit, it's going to activate all the redstone. Test it out. Stand on a pressure plate. All right. And wait a minute, the pulse is super weak. It barely goes anywhere. Wait, it's because it's gold pressure plates. Oh, yeah, you're right. Gold is the weakest pressure plate. So let's replace it with some oak pressure plates. This should make the signal go way farther. Great thinking. Thank you. Now, Roxy, step on one of the brand new wooden pressure plates to test out the redstone signal. All right. Boom. And yes, it's so much stronger now. Now we can make the redstone go all the way to the dispenser. So let's mine back over here like that. Then connect the redstone and go all the way around to where the dispenser should be. And it should be right around over here. Yeah, oh, it's right here. Oh, nice. I found it. So let me build up like that and then make the redstone lead into it and then go all around over here into the other redstone down next to the pressure plates. And now, let's test it out. So, Roxy, stand on the pressure plate, and let's see if the mutant wither skeleton spawns in. Alright, boom! And wait, what? It didn't spawn in. Oh, no. Roxy, stand on the pressure plates. Let me see what's wrong with the redstone, okay? Okay, on! And, hmm, the redstone reaches all the way until here, but it doesn't reach until the dispenser. We need to add a redstone repeater. Oh, yeah, because redstone only reaches 15 blocks. Yeah, but with the repeater, it extends out even more. And let's see, does it work when you stand on the pressure plate? Jump on it. All right, I'm jumping on. And, oh, my gosh. Whoa, that guy looks crazy. Oh, my gosh, look at his sword. Oh. I know, and wait, he has two swords, and um, Roxy, he is going to wreck whoever's standing over here. They're going to have no chance. They need to have at least some armor. Yeah, you're totally right. This guy is super creepy. I don't like him one bit. And wait, Roxy, can we test out how strong he is? Oh, fine, but I'm not it. Nope, you're it, Roxy. And wait, he just broke all those blocks. Roxy, you have to test it out. Oh, come on. And you're in survival mode, and oh my gosh, Roxy, run! Oh gosh, this guy's crazy! He does so much damage! Oh my gosh, he's insane! And 
Wait, what? He instantly wrecked you! Yeah, we definitely need armor. All right, all right, all right. And oh my gosh, we have to repair all the damages that crazy dude made. So let's fix it up by replacing everything and replacing all the pressure plates. Boom, good as new. But what armor are we going to use for that? Yeah, we need something way better than normal Minecraft armor. And wait a minute, I have a really good idea. If we can't beat the mutant wither skeleton with normal armor, let's use his own armor. Armor. Oh, yeah, his own armor is so strong. I know, right? Check it out. I have the full set, and I'll even get the sword. The sword looks so beautiful. I know, right? And wait, it also has a slash ability. Whoa, this thing is awesome. Slash, slash. <laughs> And check out this armor. Oh my gosh, I look super epic awesome. Yes, this is the armor we're gonna give. And we should make it automatic. So once you fall in from here, you're gonna land on this block. So we can make an automatic armory over here. But arms, how do we add an armory? Super duper simple. Let's just grab a dispenser and we're gonna set it here, 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 and here. Boom. Now let's set a piece of each of the armor in each dispenser just like that and boom it's all filled up now in the middle we could put an oak fence and on top a stone pressure plate so right now i have no armor on but if i jump down to the secret maze area boom i have a full set of mutant wither skeleton armor awesome i know right and once we beat the mutant wither skeleton we can move on to over here but roxy our chest is right over there put a wall down oh yeah and this this time, we're going to make it out of light blue wool because it's on the red side. Nice, and I know exactly what to put over here. What? What should we put over here? Let's add some deadly dangerous Spider-Man parkour. Ooh, that sounds super duper awesome. Yes, let's do it, and I know just how. First, we have to make it so you have to do the Spider-Man parkour, so we have to replace all these blocks with lava. And boom, it's all filled up. Oh my gosh, careful, Roxy. Don't step in that. Now, we need to make the first... First Spider-Man parkour jump. So let's add a ladder over here. And the second jump is going to be on this side. So we have to parkour like Spider-Man. Now the next one is going to be up one block. So we got to parkour. Then the next one's going to be up over here. Then next is going to be up over here. And yes, we made it. But wait, I fell in. We need one last jump. So let's set it down over here. Let's test it out. Alrighty, so first jump here, then second jump here, then third jump here. And oh gosh, this is really difficult, but I made this one and the last one. Now we can parkour to the other side. Let's go. Awesome job, spider Holmes. You too, Spider-Roxy. Put another wall down. Alrighty, on it. And since we're on the red side, it gets to be a blue wall. Yay. And boom, the wall is set. But what should we add here? I know exactly what. We're gonna make it two options. One deadly dangerous and one super duper good. What are the options gonna be? The first one is gonna be the deadly dangerous one and that's pink because Lily was mean so we're gonna make the bad one the pink side and we're gonna make the good one the green side because Luke was kind of just being chill. Okay, but how are we gonna do this? Well, we need to make two sides of a wall so let's set a green wall over over here like this and then over here we have to set a pink wall all right now what? now we need to put a button on each side and the button on the green side is gonna open the door and the button on the pink side is gonna make something deadly dangerous happen Ew, make the door first all right so first we gotta break these blocks over here and set some sticky pistons down at the bottom and then up over here some sticky pistons and these are gonna push the blocks up and down. So we have to hook them up all to this button over here, which should be kind of sort of easy, I think. I'm not really sure. Oh, no. I'll try my best. So let me hook up some redstone here, then make it go up one block like this. Now, if we go over here and hit the button, no, nothing happens. Add a redstone torch. Oh, yeah. Really smart. If we add a redstone torch, yes, it activates. And when we hit the button, it pulls it back. Roxy, you fixed the first block. Now, now we need to make it work for the pink one. Hmm, how do we do that? Maybe by setting a block over here. And yes, the bottom row works perfectly. Now we just need to make the top row work. How do we do that, though? 
now. Maybe it's really simple. All we have to do is put some redstone dust over here and this piston activates. Then we got to make it go down and around and then the other two activate. So now if we hit the button, <gasps> whoa, Roxy, check it out. The door works perfectly and we can even cover up most of the evidence. Whoa, awesome. I know, right? I love it so much. But now we need to make the pink button be mega deadly dangerous. What should we do? We can make it so you can fall into a pit. Ooh, that is super duper smart. Yes, let's make these blocks below us go down into a super duper deep pit. And once we fall all the way down over here, we're gonna make a zombie apocalypse spawn in. Whoa, how many zombies are we talking about? We're talking about 50 zombies spawning in. Whoa, are you serious right now? Yes, I am mega serious, and I know a way to do it instantly. We're going to use command blocks, but first we need to make this area way bigger. And boom, now we have so much more room down here, but what should we make these blocks out of? We should make out of green because zombies are green. Ooh, great choice. Let's make it all out of green wool. And this place is super duper bright. Now we need to make it spawn in all of the deadly dangerous zombies. You said we're going to use a command block, right? Yup, exactly. Exactly. So once we fall in, we need to make it so it spawns in the zombies from a command block. So let's get some tripwire hooks and let's set them all back over here. And let's do the same on this side here. And to connect the tripwire hooks, we got to add some string and it's basically invisible. So now when we hit it, it's going to activate the tripwire hooks. Whoa, it's like a booby trap. Yeah, but one you can't avoid even if you tried because you have to fall inside. So once you fall fall in here, all the zombies have to spawn in. And since when you activate one of these trip wire hooks, it actually makes a redstone signal, that should be super easy. Wait, what? It does? Yup, when you stand in the trip wire, it activates a redstone. So we can make it hook up to this repeater over here. And let's give myself a command block with a command perfect. So now, once you activate the trip wire hook, it's gonna activate this command block. And the command is gonna say to summon a bunch of zombies down in the middle. So let's type out the command we wanted to do, then let's copy it over and put it inside the command block. Now let's test it out. If we stand in the trip wires, boom, one zombie spawns in. What? Only one? Well, I didn't do the redstone magic yet. We need to make it so a bunch spawn in. And that's super simple. All we have to do is change this into a repeat command block. Now it's purple. What? So what? So now when we hit the command block once, it spawns in a bunch of zombies check that out but that's still only like 10 yeah you're right and an easy way to make more is just by putting a redstone repeater right next to this first command block and then putting the next command block in it and adding the command again then we can make another command block leading from this one and putting the command in again and we'll add it one more time and this should be a crazy amount of zombies now let's test it out so once we fall into the a whole boom a billion zombies spawn in oh my gosh this worked perfectly great job Holmes. thank you and wait we gotta get rid of some of them so let's make it into peaceful and once we defeat all the zombies we can finally escape so let's make a ladder way out of here um, this came out amazing i know right but wait a minute roxy we have a big problem there's just a hole in here the hole's supposed to spawn in when you hit the pink button oh no this. Wait, actually, it's super easy. All we have to do is go behind where the button is, and we just need to put a command that's gonna make all these blocks disappear. So let's grab the coordinates of these blocks over here and copy it over. Now we have to make the command block fill it all up with air. So now it's completely set. Once you hit the pink button, you're gonna fall into the trap. Let's test it out, though. Do it! Alrighty, when we hit the button, we fall in and all the zombies spawn. But it's in peaceful right now, so they don't lag our game. And if you pick the green side, you can just walk right on in. Um, I have an idea for this lane. Wait, what? What's your idea for here? We should make an archery to get to the next side. Oh, that is an amazing idea. Like, we could make it so you have to hit a target to spot in some water to climb over the wall. Yeah, that's 
That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. So the wall is now set, and we're not going to make it just a normal way to get through. We're going to make it so you have to hit a target block up over here. So let's set down the target block up on top like this. Then above it, we could put a dispenser. And we're also going to need some water because the water is going to be shot out of the dispenser so we could climb over. And Roxy, I have a really good idea. Let's put a chest over here with just a bow. What about Exactly. Here's where my idea comes in. What if we make all the materials to make an arrow all around the puzzles from before? Oh my gosh, that is so smart. I know, right? And the materials to make an arrow is a piece of flint on the top. So let's grab one flint. Then the next is the feather on the bottom of the arrow. And in the middle is a stick. And these are all the materials we need for an arrow. So let's hide the first chest right over here. And we're going to put a flint in it. So you're going to have to turn around once you make it past. Then we can make the second chest. Hmm, where can we make it? How about right over here? Ooh, that's super hidden. I know, right? You can barely see it. And inside, this chest is going to be a feather. Now we need one more chest to hide, and we can put it... Hmm, what if we put it right over here in the corner? No one would ever look back when they fall in. Nice job! Now, all we need is a a crafting table. And we can put the crafting table right next to this chest. No, put it underneath it. Whoa, wait, that's actually a super good idea. So you can barely see it only if you hit the corner. So once we get here, we're gonna need to grab the bow. Then we have to run back, grab this chest with the flint, climb up the ladder over here, then go over down and grab this chest over here with the feather. Then make it all the way back over here and grab the stick. This is such a good place. And Roxy, no one's going to guess it. But when they do, they'll be able to shoot the bow at the target block. And the target is going to spawn in water. So we could swim up over here and grab our prize of the diamond and redstone block. But how are we going to get out of here? I have a really good idea. We can make it so we get levitation and we can float up to the surface. Yes, let's do that. So first, let's mine out to the surface over here. Perfect. And now we need to make it so you got levitation. So let's replace this block with a command block. And let's type out a command that says slash effect, then give. And we have to make it at P. So it's the nearest player. And we're going to give them levitation for 20 seconds. And we're going to give them levitation 10. Now let's test it out. If we hit the button, we go zooming perfectly to the top. Oh, hey, guys. Come to my side. Whoa, Luke. What did you build? I built an awesome some tree house. Whoa, but how do we get up? I don't see a way. There's parkour, a uh, doy. What parkour? This looks uh, super duper easy. Luke, I'm gonna do this first try. Are you serious? This is made for babies. No, this is difficult parkour. This is super easy. It's literally one block parkour. Who made this? This is super easy. Oops, it's supposed to be hard. And whoa, the view is awesome from up here, but it's kind of empty on the inside, Luke. I'm not gonna lie. What? It's not empty. There's there's a seat right here. Wow, th that's all you put. Look, we had so much time. It's really hard to think of stuff to put in here. All right, well, I give your bill. Just because of you, I'll give it a 6.7 out of 10. I agree. Me too. That's way more than I expected. Let's go. <laughs> nice job, Luke. All right, guys, my turn. Follow me. All right, let's go to Lily's side, and let's see if it's... Whoa, good. Wait, Lily, what did you make? Come and find all right, and whoa, you have some really cool matching stairs, and what the heck? You use stairs, and it looks like prison bars. Yup, isn't it awesome? Yeah, it's a really creative way to make it, but oh no, there's a password door. What's the password? It's unguessable. Unguessable. Let me see. Is it one, two, three, four, and really, Lily? That was super easy. How did you guess that? Nobody can ever guess that. Really? That was super duper easy. And are you serious? Another door? Well, this door is a way harder passcode. Wait, what? It's not one, two, three, four, but how am I supposed to get the passcode? You have to go down here to figure it out. Ooh, really, really smart, Lily. All right, I'm going down. And oh my gosh, this is such a long maze. And wait, it's a dead end over here. Yep, just 
give up, boys. Hmm, something seems sus about this. Whoa, secret tunnel. And wait, it keeps going on in. Oh, secret chest, what's inside here? And what is this? There's a bunch of buttons in rows. It says one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I get it. That's the password. Yep, you got it. That was such a smart way to do it. And let's see if it actually works. One, two, three, four, five. And yes, it works. Let's go and whoa! Um, I just fell down. <laughs> it worked. Whoa, this looks like some deadly dangerous parkour. And I'm a pro. Watch out, Roxy. Watch and learn. Hey, I'm gonna beat you. No way. I'm a parkour professional. And whoa, a chest with swords. I call the diamond one. I call Oh, man, I got the iron one. Aw, uh, sorry, Luke. Now we got to parkour up. And there's three sets of armor. I got diamond. I got another one. Are you serious? I got iron again. Sorry, Luke. And whoa, Roxy, we look awesome. And what's supposed to be over here, Lily? Just come in. Uh, okay. And wait a minute. Why did I just get put in survival mode? And why are you locking up the room? Because you have to battle these creepers. Oh, no. Luke, Luke, Luke. Oh. Oh my gosh, Lily, what are you doing? Our armor is too good to die. Or the creepers are just killing each other. Oh no, I didn't think this through. Lily, this is like crazy easy. Is this supposed to be a challenge? You know what? I'm spotting a billion. Wait, actually, wait, wait, chill, Lily. I'm actually starting to take damage. Hey, Lily, this is way more than what's supposed to be here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, no! I got you. Hey, you just cheated. Yeah, totally. That was not supposed to be like that. But wait a minute. Whoa, an entrance opened up with the ladder and <gasps> freedom. We made it out, guys. Let's go. Good job. You beat it. Yay, we did it. And that was actually so much fun. Great job, Lily. Thank you. Now it's your turn. Where's your build? Oh, uh, well, to be honest, um, but we didn't build in my area. I built with Roxy. What? Well, I have to do what I have to do because there's literally no way to build anything in a three by three area. Yeah, you could just build down there. What? Wow. Lily, are you serious right now? Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> and check it out. Welcome to me and Roxy's build. Guess how to open the door. Uh, with the lever? All right. Well, wasn't that a really cool opening? Hmm, this place looks super normal. Yep, just a normal house with a normal TV and a normal skeleton and some bread. But what's this lever over here? Wait, what? Uh, um, nothing. How did she find out that quick? Um, nothing. No hidden. Look, something open. Oh, gosh. What? Lily found it that quick. Oh, man. Well, yeah, you found it, Lily. And put on your armor in the armory. All right, boom. And if I was you, I'll be very, very careful for what's about to happen. And wait, what? You found the secret chest. What am I supposed to do with the stick? Oh, uh, well, you'll see in the future. Tee But first, you have to cross the path. All right. I'm crossing. And check it out. It's a mutant wither skeleton. Ah, he's so powerful. You got this, Lily. Don't die. Don't worry. I'm too strong. And oh my gosh, Lily, he's literally destroying you right now. Do something. Do something. Oh, the lava, you big meanie. Oh my gosh. This is not going well at all, Lily. How much health do you have? I have two hearts. Oh, no. But I'm going for the kill. Get him. And oh my gosh. Whoa. You did it, Lily. And his bones went flying. Nice job. Let's go. That was awesome. Really good job, Lily. And oh gosh, the Spider-Man parkour is kind of messed up. But I think I can still make it. Yeah, you can. You can parkour over to here. You got this, Lily. And yes, nice job. Now parkour to this side. Roxy, this looks hard. Can you pick me up? Yeah, I got you. Wait, what? Roxy, you can't do that. That's cheating. All right, here you go. Wait, what? Is this allowed? Hey, Roxy, you can't just do that. I'm going to put you at the end. Here you go. Wait, Roxy, why would you do that? I have a question, on Lily, duh. Oh, my gosh. Roxy. Well, Lily, you're never going to guess this. There's two options, the green side or the pink side. And I know you're going to pick pink. Just pick it. No, I know it's a trap. Move out of the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, no, Lily, you can't do that. Are you serious right now? Lily, I spent so much time on that zombie thing. Obviously, it's a trap. But look, there's a chest. What? Dad, you found the chest. How are you doing this so well? This is super easy. Wait, Lily, you forgot a chest over here. Wait, what? Um, Roxy, no, no, no. Don't tell her about the secret chest down there. Oh, I see it. What? Are you serious right now? Lily, how are you not dying in the lava? This armor is really good. What? Now she has all the items for the arrow. Which one was it again? 
one was in the pink button. Wait, is she about to forget? Um, yeah, totally. Just kidding. It's the green one. Are you serious? How is she this lucky? But whoa, what is this over here? Well, in this chest, there's a little special surprise. Oh, it's a bow and all the items you gave me is for an arrow. Wait, what? Well, you're never gonna find the crafting table. It's underneath the chest, right? Wait, what? No, it's not underneath the chest. Yep, I got it and I got an arrow. Oh my gosh. Well, what do you do with the arrow? I have to shoot the target. Duh. Well, it's super duper hard. Try your best. First try, boom. Wait, what? You got it. And now you can climb up. All right, fine, Lily. You won fair and square. Yay, and I got the prize. And the prize is a diamond and a redstone block. Well, I don't want this. What? Well, okay. Check out this button. It gives you levitation and enough to take you exactly to the top. Try it out. Wait. Nice! Hmm, and I'll give this place a 10 out of 10. It's awesome! What? Yay! Let's go! We did it, Roxy! Yay! We did it! That was so much fun! And that was an awesome adventure. And if you want to join us on the next, click right here. Bye! Bye.